हेलो गाइस वेलकम बैक टू द नेक्स्ट वीडियो दिस इज बेसिकली गोइंग टू बी द कंटिन्यूएशन ऑफ द प्रीवियस वीडियो एंड दैट मी जस्ट रीकनेक्ट माय प्रीवियस रिकॉर्डिंग टू दिस वन सो वी कैन कंटिन्यू वेयर वी लेफ्ट ऑफ नाउ वी डिड टॉक अबाउट रेज साइकिल एंड बेसिक डैमेज काउंटर डैमेज डायरेक्ट डैमेज एंड बेसिक डैमेज आर द सेम थिंग bonus damage is basically any any damage that happens um on top of whatever damage you are dealing that is one of catherine's skill she deals uh, direct damage of this and in next attack deals bonus damage of 4700 let's see if we can actually find that out in this support we have catherine and a skill drop happens here where again she get a lot of rage rage build and like go those skill is going to get dropped before this we have 1600 1600 1600 happening oh sorry this is the damage we are getting uh Thirty four hundred, thirty four hundred. But over here, we did around six, around seventeen thousand damage, because Catherine did her red skill, a uh, chainsaw dance, thirteen thousand damage. Now let's see in the very next second if she did forty seven hundred, as what it says. Chainsaw dance. Uh, eighty five hundred. So she did inflicted extra damage during this time. So this is so one thing. When you see some number of troops dead, it's not gonna be equivalent to say forty seven hundred damage. That means forty seven hundred troops should die. A four thousand damage. Sorry, four thousand healing effect doesn't mean your four thousand troops are gonna be back. It just says that the higher number of higher the healing factor or the damage factor is the more number of troops you you are going to kill so it just not equivalent to the exact number that's what i'm trying to say so for next three turns we are not receiving any damage because we are the shield is absorbing most of the damage compared to what elite executioner is going to inflict if elite executioner or your enemies is inflicting more damage then that go those shield can absorb then you won't see a zero over here so say for example that go those shield can uh, absorb around 9600 of damage factor but catsin can inflict um, 8000 and uh, maybe say you are pairing her with another hero which is Say you have Louis. Louis inflicts more damage than Zagoro's shield can absorb. You won't see a zero in that case. Just trying to uh, mention that. You can. I can even show you over here. Zagoro's shield is ninety six hundred, but we have a hero over here. Louis. He can deal up to ten thousand. Now, if this uh, his skill drop and Ragoro skill drop happens at the same time, or comes during an overlapping time, Ragoro shield will not hold all the damage. He'll hold some, but not all. So, okay, and um, increased. Now there are few other things that I would like to talk about. I'm gonna split the video for sure. So you might. I'm just. talking all at once but you are going to not see it all at once next let's talk about the increase in squad attack defense and hp now we have like say for example you have this increment this is going to show up increase uh damage dealt to squad by 16% but increase squad attack by 14% this is a straight up buff that is not going to show up in the battle log 
the same way um this damage dealt to zombie by 30% won't show up in the battle log those are what we called stat buffs um say this is increase squad uh, infantry squad attack and defense by 6% and when shield is activated uh deals increase damage dealt by 6% when shield is activated so this is something we can see and when gathering this won't we won't see but let's see where the stat buffs come from if i say create a squad again with uh that go though and akemi this is what we call a stat buff right now infantry squad attack is showing at uh 118.5% and defense at 98% and uh, so akemi provides 14% on attack so if whatever troop we are getting that one is gonna like say let's reduce this and let's increase this um or maybe change it here let's do this i don't know what russell in increases damage dealt to zombies 30% like akemi this is just extra now let's see what does the stat looks like infantry squad attack reduced by exactly 14% because akemi provides 14% extra attack so these are what we call stat buffs damage dealt to zombie zombie 32% now let's see if we can have a hero that doesn't deal extra damage to zombies for example him he doesn't have a zombie skill if i'm not wrong nope he doesn't have a zombie skill now let's see stack zombie kill experience is this but zombie damage dealt is only 2% it was 32 akemi also provides uh damage dealt to zombie by 30% it should show up at 32% as per what we have seen see damage dealt 32% so these are what we called stat buffs so with this i think i covered quite a few things now we have um trigger weight trigger weight i think i did talk about couple of times trigger weight is basically um something that is going to happen within a certain number of seconds or only after a certain number of seconds for example uh, example his passive skill that go those his this uh the travel speed reduction can only happen once in every 10 seconds so that's a trigger weight in 10 seconds that means the way it is worded over here is it means it can happen any time between first 10 seconds say let like, let's say it happened at second number 6 and it's going to last for 5 second second number 11 now by second number 11 you are in the next set of 10 seconds window so potentially it can trigger again at say 12th second so you still get for again get 5 seconds 12 to 17 now the third time it can only happen is between second number 20 and second number 30 so that's a trigger weight i think akemi also has one if i'm not wrong yes 10% chance for 3 second this can uh effect can be triggered only once in 6 seconds so the same thing once in 6 seconds the next thing seconds can happen again that's where it can happen like for continuous um like this effect can be overlapped that's what i'm trying to say that it ended and started once again uh the very next second because this window 6 second or 10 second window changes also before i forget let me quickly see one more report to point out another thing we did see combat log whatever was there we already went through it but we also have squad buffs and these three little dots right 
beside squad info which since i cannot see my cursor i cannot show you but this is right here these are all the squads that were part of this particular rally if you are attacking solo you'll only see one squad which is yours and you also see how much dam not damage like how much wounds wounded troops each of these squads got uh, heavily wounded lightly wounded so that's about these three also it does mention it over here that heavily wounded will be sent to hospital the same thing that i mentioned earlier and lightly wounded will still be on the battlefield okay now the last thing that we did not discuss was squad buffs now squad buff is something that basically is all your uh, stats that you carried on the battle when i say stats that means any buff that you that you have from your research your alliance research um your equipment parts everything so these percentages that you see on the left side they are your percentage the right side one is the enemy percentage if it was a pvp battle instead of a hive man you will see the enemy squad and whatever buff they have for the most part if you have better buffs or better stats than your enemy the battle is going to go in your favor because you're going to be dealing more damage and uh, that can also contribute to the fact that uh, if you have less number of troops on the field than your enemy and you have better stats you can still win and in number of uh, squads on the field do play a role but these stats are the um you can say actual um mm, how to put it these stats are actually what the, those number of squads are going to be doing on the field if you have so much squad but you have less or uh, you know stats than your enemy you will be taking more damage like 200 uh, of if we say for example we have um 112 Point two percent infantry stock squad attack, and the enemy has sixty percent enemy squad or uh, infantry squad attack. So if you both are carrying all infantry and he has more troops than you, since your percentage is more, you are gonna be dealing more damage to the enemy, and the enemy squad is gonna be reducing that much faster. And uh, because this percentage is basically getting applied to your entire squad. it same goes for mixed troops say your particular rally or your particular uh solo attack whatever you're doing if they have multiple troop types the uh, these percentages that you see on the left are going to be only applied to that number of uh you can say squad for example if we see over here this was a uh, red bull 8 ran all infantry while warrior e has riders and ranged infantry infantry this is me infantry now if you go to squad buff this infantry squad attack defense and hp all are going to apply to all the infantry in the rally rider and range attack is going to only apply to rider and range so this is basic i think this is very much self explanatory that uh, these buff only apply to the number of squad that you are carrying in the in your um rally or your squad these buffs are going to apply to only those so if say if you are so if you are running any kind of a rally or any particular hero that provides buff to only a certain troop type i would highly recommend you to only send that particular troop type on the in that rally not the other ones for example this was a rally with peggy now peggy does not do does not provide any particular buff to any particular specific uh, you can say troop type 
so everything she provides is it goes to the entire squad but if say for example it was tom or agoro they are primarily infantry heroes if you have the if you have this rider and range joining the rally they are not getting any buff from tom or agoro they are going to basically be doing their own damage no buff to them whatsoever this is why certain rallies are weaker then uh you can say any particular rally that is that is completely uh getting filled with one particular troop type if you are running a rider rally if you end up sending infantry or range in that rally the hero that is doing that rally for example bella or sven they are rider heroes that do infantry that rider they are used for rider rallies sending infantry in that particular rally is N- not good you're not helping your alliance you're in a way hurting your alliance in that case because you want to win that rally and you have you just because filling the rally you did not provide any strength to it you actually in a way weakened it because you no know, certain of those uh, i don't remember on top of my head but certain of the talents that that those hero have are based on if you are running only rider or a particular troop type rally even one single troop of a different type basically that talent won't apply in that case so be very careful when you join any rally just don't join with any troop type make sure that you see what heroes the rally commander is running before you join and with that i think i covered everything about the battle report and certain important and very key things that we should know when we are playing in a team and to have better gaming experience and uh, you know perform well because it's a bad uh, war game you want to win battles this will help you win battles and with that i think i have covered everything that i wanted to at least the basics and now at least i think i might have given you some kind of idea on uh, what the hero skills mean what happens when the battle started how the rage building happens what happens when the skill drop takes place between lead and support when the skill drop happens first the lead goes and then the the next second the support uh drops their skills it doesn't happen at the same time and uh based on their skill whom you can put first as the lead or as an assistant so i hope this helps again this was a lot covered in the couple of videos so i would say uh please do ask me questions if you have any and uh, if you want replay the video understand if anything you have confusion about and uh, with that uh, i think i'm done and i'll come up with the next video very soon because this was a required video for the next set of videos that i'm going to post and with that and with that have a great day and I'll talk to you guys very soon.